Hello friends, this video on gravitation part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 9 before going ahead with part 10. We have seen the basics of gravitation. We studied quite a few things and concepts about gravitation. Let us have a look at the planetary motion. As I told you that gravitation plays an important role in planetary motion. That is, it helps the planets to be in their fixed orbits. So, first of all, we will see the history of planetary motion. I will tell you from the very beginning what evolved the study of planetary motion. So, let us have a look. The first study on planetary motion was done by a scientist named Ptolemy. He gave a model known as the geocentric model. So as the name suggests geocentric, that is geo plus centric. What is geo? Geo means earth. Centric means center, that is earth at the center. So this model stated that all the planets, stars, even sun, everything revolve around the earth. That means earth was at the center and all the planets, stars, everything revolved around the earth. So that was the geocentric model which was proposed at the very beginning. After some time came the heliocentric model which were proposed by some Indian astronomers. I mean, there is no specific name of the astronomer because it was a contribution of quite a number of them. So they proposed heliocentric model. In heliocentric model, what they said, here again, it is helio plus centric. So in this case, the center was the sun. This model stated that all the planets revolve around the sun. Now, even after that, developments took place and a model came that is Nicolas Copernicus model. So it was named after the scientist Copernicus who studied about it and he told that planets move in circles around the central sun. That means he not only told that planets revolve around the sun, he also told that planets revolve in circular orbits around the sun. Even after that came a scientist named Tycho Brahe who spent lifetime recording observations on planets. So he did lot of experiments on studying the planets but unfortunately in his lifetime he could not reach to a conclusion. So finally came Johannes Kepler who used the observations which were made by Tycho Brahe and he gave the Kepler's three laws of motion. So as of now I mean in today's world the Kepler the planetary motion is governed by three laws of Kepler's. So these Kepler's laws were based on the experiments and the observations which were recorded by Tycho Brahe. And these Kepler's law finally became the basis of Newton's law of gravitation which we studied till far. So, so far we studied about universal law of gravitation. So here we see that what, what became the basis of Newton's universal law of gravitation. So this is how the planetary, the study on planetary motion continued since ages and scientists with passage of time made advancement and made new observations and gave new conclusions and theories. So in this chapter, we will study the Kepler's three laws which govern the planetary motion. So let us go ahead and study the Kepler's laws. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.